back tonight uh, here on In Focus. Thank you to our courts now. The Senzel Meiwa murder trial was on today where friend Dumelo Madala has hit out at claims by the defense that the soccer star wasn't murdered by intruders. Five men accused of murdering the Orlando Pirates and Bafana Bafana captain in 2014 in what the state claims was a robbery gone wrong. News from Africa's Zikona Chona reports. I will put to you that there were no intruders that entered that house on the 26th of October 2014 that yes, no and killed Senzo Mele. Frustrated state witness Tumelo Majlala says that this question has been asked way too many times and that he has no reason to lie to court. He was grilled about his version of events on the day that his best friend was shot. Mazala told the court that he saw two intruders entering the Kumalo home. One was armed and demanded money and cell phones, while the other he identified as accused number two, Bongani Ntanzi. Mazala says he was tall, wore a hoodie, and had an O-shaped beard. But Ntanzi disputes this, saying his beard has always been the shape that it is. He even went as far as to invite Mazala to come and have a closer look. Mazala maintains that he would point out Ndanzi a thousand times over, given a chance. He says he doesn't know who shot Senzo Meiwa because he ran to a room for cover after hearing a gunshot. Why didn't you call for help from your cell phone because you were now behind a locked room in, in the house? Defense lawyer Charles Mnisi says there is confusion about who Mayua was in the tussle with when the gunshot went off, following testimonies by witnesses Zandile Kumalo and Togozi Sitwala who've testified that he was in a tussle with the first intruder who had dreadlocks. Mazala says Meiwa was in a tussle with the first intruder, but has insisted that when the first gunshot went off, he had pinned the second intruder against the wall. Accused number two, Bongani Nganzi, has been pointed out by two witnesses who are in the house. Zandile Kumalo has told the court that she remembers him clearly because of his height and that at some point during the incident she attempted to hit him with a crutch. Tumelo Mazala says he remembers him well and that he hit him with a fist during the incident. Cross-examination of this witness continues on Thursday. For News from Africa on Channel 405, I'm Zikona Chona in Pretoria.